Welcome guys to Until Dawn. Welcome guys to Until Dawn part eight. Yeah, it's part eight or part seven. It's one of them. I'm pretty sure it's eight. Um, I, I'm not looking forward to playing this because if there's only ten episodes and and we're on part eight and we we haven't seen the monsters yet. So I'm scared. I'm absolutely terrified. I don't. I don't. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> I just want to finish the game and be like, "Yay, everyone survived except for what's her name? What is her name? Jessica." Who I get confused with Hannah. I don't know why. Um, okay, so let's let's do it. Jesus, that got me. Off the screen, please. Josh. <laughs> Josh. How does it feel? Do you enjoy all those emotions that my sisters got to feel once one year ago? Only, only guess what? They didn't get to laugh it off. No. Nope. No. 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 They're gone. Jessica's fucking dead. What? Did you hear me? Jessica is dead. But you were gonna fucking pay, you <laughs> dick. What happened with Jess, Mike? I don't remember killing Jess. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Oh, my God, Matt! <sighs> oh, shit. Didn't the dude get her? <sighs> oh, shit. We're right, we're right into it. Give us what do you give us? A gun, bullets, fire, something. What do you give us? Alright. What is it? Oh, a flare. Is this the way we fell? Yeah. I'm really, I, I just wanted to like apologize because I'm pretty sure I'm going to kill you. Um, I don't mean it. I'm trying my best and um, it's kind of been cool hanging out with you the last episode or two. So yeah, uh, sorry. Did I not press it? Oh, it's the first one. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's my it's my mouse icon. What's this? Oh, totem. Does it show our death? Oh, it's Mike. Okay. Continue walking. <coughs> mine, can't, mine kind of sound like a cat. What? 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 
people. What's this? Enter gap. That looks like that does not look like a gap we can fit in. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be the way. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Shit, shit! Jump, jump, jump! Just keep running, just keep running. Oh my god! Oh my god, we have another one. I can't do this, guys. I can't, I can't. I failed two. I failed two. I'm getting her killed. It, how was she not killed then? Oh my god. I am so anxious. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Can one of you guys play it for me? Okay. Stop being a wuss. We can do it. I just really don't want Emily to die. I kind of like her. <laughs> She's my least favourite character, but I kind of like her now. Here we are. Let's go left, let's go left. Oh god. What did we get bit or something? What is it? Oh shit, oh shit. Oh, good job! I'm so sorry, Emily, if you're dead. Is she not dead? Oh my god. Ah, uh, leap off, leap off, leap, leap, leap off. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Look, look, look. Have to stand still again. What? What happened? it over oh my gosh thank god she's alive she got bit what does that mean does that mean something i've never been this scared in my life i have oh fuck it's not over shit 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 don't stop run running emily crap what now help 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 me Open the fucking door! Open the door! Open the door! Open the door! Oh my god, open the shut door. the door! Emma, are you alright? I didn't think that I'd made it! Oh. You were screaming bloody murder! You, okay? you look totally wrong! There was something! Where's Matt? Puppy, sit down, sit down! Something's out there! Did you there. guys pull it off? A monster! It's a monster! Wait! I just need to, like... I know Chris, I just need to sit here for a minute and process what just happened. How is Emily not dead? <laughs> I missed like 10 QTEs, I didn't really. I think I missed, I missed a good chunk of them though. I'm surprised I didn't kill her. 
I must have just like missed the ones that didn't matter and I and I got the ones that did matter. But I so I could so very easily have killed her. Oh my god, that honest to god has freaked me out. I've not been I've not been very scared of this game, but that freaked me out. So I guess the doctor was right. I'm scared of like <laughs> supernatural dead things. <laughs> They're so creepy looking. Okay, we're, we're fine now. We're safe in the lodge. They're not going to come in the lodge, are they? This is our safe zone. Right? I'm going to go wait a monster because I want to find what out. What are you talking about? I said there's something out like there. Like what? Josh, relax. It was Josh. It was all Josh. No, 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 no. Listen to we me. We got him tied up. He can't hurt you. No, it was after me and it wasn't human. Hold on. What happened? Where's Matt? Who gives a shit about Matt? Can you tell us exactly Actually, what where happened? is Matt? I'm trying to tell you. We were climbing up the tower and it it fell. The whole tower just fell right into the mine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What mines? There are these mine shafts all over running under everything. When the tower fell, we ended up down there. I don't understand. The tower fell? How'd it fall? I, I was walking down there in the mines and then it was dark and I found this pile and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head, I found Oh my god. What the fuck? Are you serious? I forgot yes, about that. I'm serious. I think they fell down. No, I'm there. joking. Jesus <laughs> Fooled you. The worst part is I, don't I can't flip my head. Died, like, from the fall, not right away. Wait, what? What do you mean? I don't know. I feel like she was down there, like, starving to death for weeks when we were all up here looking for her. We had no idea. Horrible way to die. That's horrible. We don't know how Beth died Listen, either. In, in the tower, there was there was a radio, and and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em, you made it. Oh God, yeah, yeah, Mike. Barely. What about Matt? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and then there was this monster that was chasing her. She's all messed up, guys. Emily, hey Em. Whoa. What the fuck can that be? Do they Josh. Not? Jess. It's I'm not Jess. keeping. Sorry, I don't man. Uber Eats. I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. Thank God. Your back, dude. <laughs> do we have? Do we have weapons? Is there weapons in this house? That would do very well. Oh, it doesn't look like. Uh, I'll cover the door. I think I okay. can handle a gun. I'm gonna open the door. You ready? You ready? I'm ready. Just do it already. Whoever it is is probably gone by now. <laughs> I, unless you want me to take a gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. Hurry up. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize I had to open the door. I forgot I'm playing Chris. <laughs> Hold on there. Hold on there, mister. That was unnecessary. All right, all right. <laughs> He's the guy from the mines. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Now, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Oh, responsible. You hold on to your horses. He was there. I take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. He tried mountain, to grab them mountain. and they were falling. Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> Who? What's he talking about? The hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. Now I'm only gonna tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I'm I sure want to get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. <laughs> there is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh, crap. Yeah, you're reacting to all the things you saw. 
you're gonna need to find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down the there basement? now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how Dig long? In the mine. Until dawn. There it is again. Guys. Until dawn. I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Oh, well that's not Where good. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. No, he, he can't be. I, we, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No. I'm gonna go get him. You can't go out there, Chris. I'm supposed to be his best friend, and, and, and I let him down. No, he let you down, Chris. He let all of us down. I don't care. I'm going to get him. Then, I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. You going alone is suicide. Fine. The rest of you, get down to the basement. Be safe. And don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. He's a bit of a skeptic. Well, I'm going to get Chris. Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh. Yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. I mean, Josh is Chris's best friend. He told the whole story about how they sat together in class and... This is the end. You point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? Trust me. I know. Hey. Come back safe. I can't promise you anything, actually. <laughs> we need to he hurry. may. I, uh, he may not. Oh, did I kiss and I missed it? So, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. What's uh, what, what's a guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. Got it. I just want to pause it for a second there. So, Wendigos, who ever hasn't played or watched a YouTuber play this, which I doubt are not very many of you, uh, Wendigos, hey, that's the monster. I unfortunately knew that before I went into it. Um, and if you don't know anything about Wendigos, he kind of explained it. Obviously, they're not real. It's a... Ooh, but they could be. It's a, um... It's a story, like a myth, you know, like vampires and, um, and whatnot. I don't, I don't know actually much about it, so there could be places where people believed it happened, or it could be enriched in someone's culture. I don't know, I don't know much about them. Um... So to become a Wendigo is you have to eat human meat. You have to you have to can be a cannibal. I don't know how much meat you have to eat before you start changing into one, but that's pretty much all I know about it. And then you become those feral animals. Uh, the first time I found out that about Wendigos is when I watched Supernatural, and they had that awesome Wendigo episode, probably one of the best episodes in the whole series, and. That was just an awesome episode, you know, how they can mimic voices and how they can, um, they're really fast and they're really strong. You don't really see him in Supernatural, you kind of just see an outline of him, which I think makes that it that much more creepier. But yeah, so, I'm excited. Let's continue playing. So... How many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you'll be shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, it'll slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? Fire, I'm guessing. Like fire. I don't like fire. I fear. True. Does and anyone like fire? Them. If you have to. See, their skin is like... It's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. It's gross. How far did you take Josh, dude? You couldn't have well, what, what are these things the like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable, or I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Well, they hear some patterns, like any animal or human. What, you mean like how? Like they've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Hmm. Why? I didn't ask. Nocturnal. The uh, 
pro Wendigo tips. Like if I rub garlic all over me, they won't be able to smell me or something. Oh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that. They can't see you if you're standing still. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on change of the movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Why would you just not move for the rest of the night? You really stand no still. Other choice. Okay, Josh, you in here? Dude, do you want to check the shed? Okay, he's gonna wait there, I guess. Damn it! Oh, we can't open it. These things. Wendigos. Okay, let me see. Are or, or were human? Do they do they still have some aspect of humanity in them? Well, they retain certain things. I mean, is it really right to kill them? <laughs> They surrender human rights the moment they quit one another. There's no cure, there's no redemption. Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. We gotta go. Right now. We gotta find Josh, he can still be out there. <laughs> First, the Wendigo. He'll render you immobile. And then, he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. He keeps you aware and feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. So the launch then. That's awful. Let's go now. It might still be near. Can I like check out the shed? Oh, I can. I wonder if there's any like clues in here. Oh crap. Josh definitely seems to have gotten attacked. Okay, let's just go down. Go, Chris! Oh my god, they're so finicky! Oh my god, is that like a puddle of blood over here? I can't do anything. Oh no, it's a saw blade! you where I am. I thought this was the way you went out. Obviously it's not. Okay, was it this way? Yes. Wait. No more. Be very quiet. Oh god, they came out of nowhere. so hard to shoot. Yes, I did just in time! Chris, get out. I don't care if you're injured. Oh my god. No! Sorry, Chris. I thought I shot it in time. Yes! No! Ash! Ash! No! Ah! Oh my! Oh my oh, God! Jesus <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Oh I did say oh. I couldn't promise if he came back or not. Are you okay? Oh, Chris, I liked you. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. 
Francisco. Let's get down to the basement. Hey, stay with me. Stay with me, Ash. Fuckers. Josh was being carried away. Is he dead? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, guys. I really tried. It was really hard to shoot. It's not good up there. What? What, what do you mean, Mike? Where is Chris? Oh, oh yeah. no. Oh God, Ash. He didn't. He was out there. I'm. I'm so sorry, Ashley. What about the old guy? No sign of him. I think. He's got to be dead, too. Oh, Christ. All right. These are all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then we're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? Please don't tell me you're going back there. I can't do it. There. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Do I think there's only one? Huh. Em. Is there only one? I don't Fuck. think so. No. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. Maybe there is. I thought multiple jumped at Chris, but we just the same one. So that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. I'm so sad this is gone. Oh my god. Wait, 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 what is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some like big cover up going on. Yeah, I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody had been tortured. So I guess Michael, if you don't find like that stuff, then he can talk about it. Focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. Like if I'm we didn't saying, find the chair, he'd talk about weird. something else. How much crazy shit's gone on up here? What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium. See? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Um. Um. What is? Huh? What is that? What? Ash. Um. Oh my God! Oh my God! It's, oh it's my nothing. God. Oh, it just no, it, it no, bit no, me no. and bit you. What bit you? The, the, the Wendigo. Wendigo. The what? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's it's not that bad. Why are they freaking now, out? If that thing bit you... I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes. Emily, at least let us check it out. They're Emily, not if the Wendigo zombies. If you, you could turn into one of those things. That's not how Wendigos work. He, he told you how they, they work. Other. Remember, he said that. Is that how it works? Yes. It happens. If it bit you, you're gonna turn into one, and then you're gonna turn on us. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Actually, you can't be down. I'm about ready to let you go, mate. What, Mike? You gotta go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like Mike, how I am. Emily, you can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. Sam, the voice of reason. This? Guys, what are you doing? I swear to God, if you kick her out, she's gonna die. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with- Okay, oh my God, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 Mike! Mike! Calm down. You're, you're gonna shoot me? <laughs> like me? This is the safe room, M. Please. This is a safe, safe place. As long as you're in it, not for us. Don't, don't do this. Uh, 
swear to God. Who am I controlling? We're not shooting her, Mike. It's a Wendigo, not how it works. Maybe. For now. Okay, Mike and Ashley are in my bad books. Keep an eye on her. If you see anything weird. Look her chowing down on her flesh. Got it. Yeah. No one leave. She eats human flesh. Okay. She's it's out of here. Safe out there. I'll be back soon. Where the hell is he on? What? Just the girls. Set a sleepover. I thought that that he was gonna help us. With a flamethrower, dude? Now we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just means we've gotta be tough. We've gotta do this on our own. I don't know if I can. It's not that long until uh, until dawn. Am I supposed to read this? Okay. This guy's a little OCD. Okay, no. I can't read that fast. Okay. Only a few men have dared to hunt the Wednigo. I am the only man. Can I go into the thing and read it there? Or are you not going to tell? Are you not going to let me? Because it's very hard to read when you're. Okay. Yeah. Only f a few men have dared to hunt the Wendigo. I am the only man who has ever kept them under control. Heed these words, or it shall be your death, and your death will not be the last. The Wendigo must be contained. The Wendigo grows out of cannibalism, when a human is desperate and craves food, trapped on the mountain in the fierce winter storms. You hear that, Ashley and Mike? When he has eaten nothing for many days, the Wendigo spirit will begin to possess him. Oh, so it's not when you eat; it's when you got when you're going hungry. Then the Wendigo spirit takes over, and then you eat human flesh. Even the strongest man is weak to it; he will kill without remorse. Often, those companions who have travelled with him, he will eat the flesh raw from the corpse. Lovely. I've seen this happen many years ago, a craving for flesh that cannot be sated, and then the change begins. The eyes turn first and become milky and white, then the teeth become longer, like fangs. The creature grows so the skin is pulled taut across the bones. Oh, there's more too. Okay, let's read this part then. There was a tribe that lived in these mountains, the Cree. Their shamans tell stories of a tall creature born in ice. The tribe respected the mountain and all the animals which lived on it. The mountain became sacred to the Cree. Every animal became sacred also. The Cree believed it was bad luck to harm an animal on the mountain and would hunt elsewhere. Oh, that's why they had that, like, you shoot the bird and the squirrel stuff. So maybe if you did that, then something was going to happen, like you were going to have bad luck. Maybe like a QTE wouldn't go through or something. In 1893, the miners arrived. They found tin and later traces of radium. They mined deep into the sacred mountain. The Cree say that the mountain cried out and the spirit was released. Well, yeah, pretty much. So that's how that's happened. If there's more than one, then it's a hunt. I think, well, I think there is. I think there's, that they're, 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 they're little, that they're the uh, biters. So where did the first one come from, I wonder? Just like a, just a ra random traveler who got stuck on the mountain. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. I'm just going to get all of it so I can just read it. Okay, is that it? Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, so we did this one. The Wendigo's eyes change. They become both sharper and more dim. The Wendigo sees movement. It is a hunter, like like a hawk. 
but it cannot see stillness. If you are to keep totally still, then the Wendigo will not be able to see you. The skin and flesh of the Wendigo are hard, like armour. They seem to feel no pain. They cannot be cut or stabbed. Bullets will not pierce their skin, but a shotgun will keep them at bay. Because the Wendigo is mutated from a human, it knows how to hunt us. It can perfectly mimic its prey. Hey, that's a... You must remain sharp and disciplined. I have killed six Wendigos. Good job. So there, are, there is more than one. Knives or bullets will not harm them. Use a flame flamethrower. It is the best weapon. Fire envelope envol, envelopes them, burns away their skin and makes them weak. I try not to kill them. Killing a Wendigo should be the last resort. Death releases the Wendigo spirit into the air. Oh. We have to kill them. Like, you can't contain these things unless you put a thing on that says no one ever go up there. But surely they would spread. If they don't breathe though, do they? They have to, people have to go up there for them to, to, to spread. So maybe. I have contained them. I used traps to catch them and a fire to drive them into cages. The traps were baited with human limbs from those who had no further use to them for them. One by one I caught those who had infested the mountain. So why are they out? What happened? Maybe they'll tell us here. There, there may be defences. Shamans wrote of rituals. I found native artefacts on the mountain and copied them. Totems, bunches of herbs and feathers. I copied their design. I have tested them out of the mountain. They work. They keep the wind to go at bay. Not entirely, but enough. But, we, but enough. But inside buildings... They do not work. Okay. Cree legend says that the Wendigo grows from the bite of it. another Wendigo. But the bite is harmless. I've been bitten but I do not change. The only way is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. Okay, good. I thought I just condemned them all to death. Okay. Oh no, 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 what? no, no. What is it? What does it say? Are you sure? It says that the bites, it, if it bites you, it's not infectious, it doesn't do anything. Let me see uh, that. I'm sorry, what did you say? Um, it says she'll be okay. It says what? You're gonna be fine. Fine? Michael almost shot me, is that he fine? didn't shoot you. And this bitch almost let him. Hey, that's not fair, she was scared. I'm the one who's scared. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Emily. I'm Honestly, yes, yeah, they turned out. real There's fast. No. There's no excuse, there's no excuse, Emily. Like, please, just I'd be pissed off at them too. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Shit. We gotta let him in. Shit, shit, shit. I don't know what that means, but... We've gotta get the mic. Like, now. Why, what does it say? I don't think, I don't think this is a good idea that all of us leaving. We're just all gonna die. Where's Josh? Oh, Joshua. Not Josh. Uh, you should have listened to me. Because of your choices, people have died. Matt, I don't it. know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death or passively allowing a tragedy to occur because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Remember last year, huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help. Okay, this must be yourself. Paralyzed self, by your own self-centered fear. While a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. 
Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Huh? Why did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them? Screw they hurt me. Well, they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. They did not intend for that to happen. It just did. And they were sorry, at least, until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. It's just a game. Let's hope that it's not too late for atonement. And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from. Something even worse than death itself. I'm pretty sure that they've like forgotten what Josh did. Like we're we're into another thing now, Josh. We don't even remember what what you did. Okay, Chris died. That really sucks. I I really didn't want to. I don't want any of them to die. But that's that's how you play the game. Like you gotta you gotta keep playing. If people die. Um, it was really hard to move the the sting into the middle to shoot the Wendigo. Um, so sorry, Chris. That really sucked. I was doing well, and then it was just like the last one, and I fa I failed it. Um, I actually might play this again when I finish this and try and uh, try and keep everyone alive because I'm pretty sure after you finish this, you can like play it chapter by chapter. So maybe I'll go all the way back to Jessica and I'll try and keep her alive just to kind of see what it's like when you save everyone and how everyone reacts because you know it went when thing got bit everyone was against her except for uh, uh what's her name Sam everyone was against her except for Sam so I think Chris probably would have been with Sam he wouldn't have been against her and it would have been interesting to see what Jessica's point of it, of it was. Would he have been, would she have been with Mike and that, or would she have been with, like, no. Although she hated Emily, so we don't know. Anyway, no idea where Matt is, uh, so that's interesting. I hope he's not down in the mines, because he kind of jumped onto a platform before it went down, so. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry this video is a little late, but, um... Don't be too mad at me for killing Chris. <laughs>